We often think of the natural world in neat categories, land or water, air breather or gill user, but nature loves to blur the lines. While the image of a fish with gills extracting oxygen from water is familiar, a surprising number of aquatic creatures have evolved an incredible ability, breathing the very air we breathe. Join me as we delve into the watery depths to encounter 14 remarkable animals that have mastered the art of living in two worlds. From ancient fish with primitive lungs to playful marine mammals, we'll unravel the mysteries behind their extraordinary adaptations. Get ready to be captivated by the wonders of evolution as we explore the fascinating world of air-breathing aquatic animals. Our journey begins with a true marvel of evolution, a creature that has witnessed the rise and fall of dinosaurs, the lungfish. These ancient fish, found in the fresh waters of Africa, South America and Australia, possess a remarkable adaptation. Primitive lungs in addition to their gills. Imagine a world long ago where shallow pools of water evaporated under the scorching sun, leaving fish gasping for breath. Their lungs, simple sacs connected to the esophagus, allowed them to gulp air from the surface, extracting vital oxygen when the water around them became oxygen depleted. Some species, like the African lungfish, can survive periods of drought by burrowing deep into the mud creating a cocoon-like structure around themselves. The lungfish, with its ancient lineage and remarkable adaptations, is a testament to the power of evolution, a living fossil that provides us with a glimpse into the distant past. Our next encounter brings us face to face with another ancient inhabitant of freshwater, the Bichir. Hailing from the rivers and lakes of Africa, these fascinating fish, often called dinosaur eels due to their elongated bodies and primitive features, possess a secret weapon in their quest for survival lungs. Don't be fooled by their eel-like appearance. Beachers are not eels at all, but belong to a unique group of lobe-finned fish. Take a closer look at their heads and you'll notice a pair of spiracles, small openings located just above their mouths. These spiracles lead to a pair of lungs, allowing them to breathe air an ability particularly crucial in stagnant waters with low oxygen levels. Journeying to the rivers and lakes of North and Central America, we encounter another master of air breathing, the gar. These torpedo-shaped predators with their armored scales and sharp teeth are a common sight lurking amongst the submerged logs and vegetation. While most fish rely solely on their gills to extract oxygen from the water, gars have evolved an ingenious adaptation their swim bladders have evolved into highly vascularized, lung-like organs. Unlike typical swim bladders, which primarily control buoyancy, the gar's modified swim bladder is richly supplied with blood vessels, allowing them to absorb oxygen directly from the air. You'll often see gars rising slowly to the surface, their long snouts breaking the water as they gulp air, ensuring their dominance in their freshwater domain. Our journey takes us now to the cool, clear waters of Mexico, where we meet a creature of captivating charm and remarkable regenerative abilities. The axolotl, this critically endangered salamander, with its feathery external gills and perpetual smile, holds a unique place in the animal kingdom. While most people associate the axolotl with its external gills, these fascinating creatures possess a secret. They also have functional lungs. In well-oxygenated water, the axolotl relies primarily on its gills for respiration, their feathery appendages gently swaying as they absorb oxygen from the surrounding water. However, in poorly oxygenated water or when stressed, the axolotl reveals its hidden talent, rising to the surface to take a breath of air. Now we venture into the vast expanse of the ocean where we encounter a creature that evokes both awe and trepidation, the sea snake. These highly venomous reptiles, masters of the marine environment, have evolved a suite of adaptations that allow them to thrive in this challenging habitat. Unlike their terrestrial counterparts, sea snakes have adapted to a life entirely at sea, their bodies streamlined for effortless movement through the water. Observe closely as the sea snake gracefully glides to the surface, its nostrils located on the top of its head breaking the water's surface. With a quick inhalation, the sea snake fills its single elongated lung, which extends for almost the entire length of its body, allowing them to dive for extended periods. Our journey now takes us to the Galapagos Islands, a volcanic archipelago teeming with unique and fascinating creatures. Here we encounter the marine iguana, the only lizard in the world that ventures into the ocean in search of food. These remarkable reptiles, descendants of land-dwelling iguanas that arrived on the islands millions of years ago, have adapted to a life both on land and in the sea. 
Watch as they plunge into the surf, their powerful limbs propelling them through the water, their claws gripping the rocky substrate as they graze on algae, their primary food source. The marine iguana can hold its breath for impressive periods, up to an hour in some cases, but eventually it must return to the surface to breathe. Chapter 7. Crocodiles and Alligators, the Lurking Predators our exploration of air-breathing aquatic animals now brings us face to face with some of nature's most formidable predators, crocodiles and alligators. These ancient reptiles, with their powerful jaws, armoured bodies and stealthy hunting techniques, evoke both fascination and primal fear. Observe a crocodile lurking in the water, its eyes and nostrils breaking the surface, the rest of its massive body submerged, almost invisible to unsuspecting prey. Their nostrils, located on the top of their snouts, allow them to breathe while remaining almost entirely submerged and their lungs, highly efficient at extracting oxygen from the air, enable them to hold their breath for impressive durations, sometimes up to an hour or more when inactive. Chapter 8. Pignose Turtle, the Snorkeling Turtle Our journey now takes us to the rivers and lagoons of Australia and New Guinea, where we encounter a creature as peculiar as its name suggests, the Pignose Turtle. This unique turtle, with its leathery, olive-grey shell and, most notably, its fleshy, snorkel-like snout, is a true oddity of the animal kingdom. Unlike most freshwater turtles, which have webbed feet for paddling, the pig-nosed turtle has flippers similar to those of sea turtles, a testament to its almost entirely aquatic lifestyle. This fleshy protuberance, reminiscent of a pig's snout, is the key to their air-breathing success. The nostrils, located at the tip of this elongated snout, act like a built-in snorkel, allowing them to breathe air while remaining mostly submerged. We remain in the realm of turtles, this time venturing into the freshwater habitats of North America, where we encounter a creature known for its powerful jaws and grumpy disposition, the snapping turtle. These ancient reptiles, with their rugged shells and prehistoric appearance, are masters of underwater survival. While they may spend the majority of their lives submerged, lurking in the murky depths, Snapping turtles haven't forgotten their need for air. They, like all turtles, are air breathers equipped with lungs that require regular refills of oxygen. While they must eventually surface to breathe, snapping turtles have developed supplementary methods for obtaining oxygen underwater, including absorbing some oxygen directly through their skin. Ooh. Our journey now takes us from the depths to the surface where we encounter a group of animals that have mastered the art of moving between two worlds, seals and sea lions. These charismatic marine mammals, with their sleek bodies, playful nature and soulful eyes, captivate our hearts and remind us of the interconnectedness of life on Earth. While they have adapted superbly to life in the ocean, their streamlined bodies, powerful flippers and thick blubber a testament to their aquatic prowess, seals and sea lions haven't forgotten their terrestrial ancestry. Watch as a seal gracefully surfaces, its nostrils located on the top of its snout, opening as it takes a deep, refreshing breath. This vital breath, replenishing their oxygen supply, is a regular ritual, a constant dance between the elements as they navigate their watery domain. Sea lions, with their external ear flaps and ability to walk on land using their flippers, also rely on air for survival. Finally, our journey culminates with the giants of the ocean whales and dolphins. These magnificent creatures with their intelligence, grace and complex social structures have captured our imaginations for centuries. And though they have returned to the water, their evolutionary journey forever etched in their anatomy, they remain tethered to the air we breathe. Whales from the massive blue whale, the largest animal on earth, to the playful dolphins are all marine mammals, their ancestors having ventured back into the ocean millions of years ago. Witness the awe-inspiring sight of a humpback whale breaching, its massive body soaring skyward before crashing back into the water, a plume of spray erupting from its blowhole. Dolphins, too, with their torpedo-shaped bodies and playful nature, are air breathers, their blowholes periodically breaking the surface as they replenish their oxygen supply. From the ancient lungfish, a living fossil that has witnessed the passage of eons, to the intelligent dolphin, whose playful nature belies its complex intelligence, these fourteen creatures demonstrate the incredible power of evolution. 
They are a testament to nature's boundless capacity to adapt and thrive even in the most challenging environments. The boundary between aquatic and terrestrial life, often perceived as a rigid divide, is in reality more fluid than we might imagine. These air-breathing aquatic animals remind us that nature doesn't adhere to our neat categories. Let us marvel at these extraordinary creatures, for they offer a glimpse into the intricate web of life that connects us all, a reminder that we are part of something far greater than ourselves.